สวัสดีค่ะ Welcome to Thailand at Large and my name is Abel w a n a m a k o k and your host for today. I'm standing in the middle of Phuket Old Town and this place is one of the most famous locations in the whole of Phuket for you to learn about Phuket's culture, diversity, see its architecture and the food and especially the people. And today I'm going to take you to visit many many places and see why Phuket is chosen as the First city in Southeast Asia to be picked as city of gastronomy. So you're in for a real treat today, and I hope to bring you to many, many different places and enjoy what Phuket has to offer. So let's go. Phuket is not just a world famous tourist destination. Thailand welcomes the news that Phuket Province has been announced as UNESCO's city of gastronomy for the year 2015. This project involves intangible culture and also combining creative modernity, or with innovations on the basis of original authenticities. Phuket is one of 18 world cities of gastronomy and is also the first city in ASEAN to be so honored. Concerning food. Phuket has various contributing aspects to be announced a city of gastronomy, particularly the attention on food sanitation. This fresh market, under the supervision of Phuket City Municipality, should serve as a good example in its status as the source of quality food. We will bring you to the market of the two cities of Phuket, or the city of Phuket. ตลาดเกษตรนะครับตลาดแห่งนี้อยู่กลางเมืองเทศบาลนครภูเก็ตเลยนะครับเป็นตลาดชั้นเดียวแล้วก็เป็นแหล่งรวบรวมอาหารสดสดหลากหลายนะครับในจังหวัดภูเก็ตนะครับเทศบาลนครภูเก็ตโดยมีกองสาสุขและสิ่งแวดล้อมนะคะเป็นคนดูแลจัดระเบียบนะคะดูแลเรื่องความปลอดภัยด้านอาหารตลอดจนเรื่องของการคุ้มครองผู้บริโภคนะคะเดี๋ยวดิฉันจะพาไปเที่ยวชมในตลาดสดนะคะโซ่ time to go shop around the markets we should first start at the seafood zone อ่าปลาสากนะปลาสากตัวยาวๆนั่นนะเขาจะทําหอมเมื่อวานเราไปร้านหอมหมกมาแล้วเนี่ยอ่าเขาจะทำจากปลาสากนี่ปลาสากตัวยาวๆเนี่ยทําหอมหมกนะครับค่ะวันนี้เลยอร่อยมากตัวพูนเนี่ยตรงนี้มันจะแหลมแหลมนะคะเนี่ยถ้าเป็นตัวเมียอย่างนี้นะคะตัวเมียเนี่ยอย่างนี้มันจะแตกต่างกันเห็นไหมคะนะคะเนี่ยจะเห็นไหมคะจะต่างกันปลากระเบนที่นี่เขาเรียกปลาจงมงนี่ค่ะปลากระเบนปลาจงมงเขาก็จะเอาไปทอดจนกรอบแล้วก็ทําเป็นแกงอร่อยมากนี่ปลากระเบนปลากระเบนกุ้งกิ้งก็อร่อยนะเดี๋ยวนี้We must admit that this market here is the center of fresh seafood of excellent quality. More importantly, prices are not as high as we thought. ปลามงนี่แกงส้มอร่อยอ่าทำแกงส้มอร่อยครับเพราะค้าขายขายโลเท่าไหร่ปลามงไม่สู้กองขายโลเท่าไหร่อะร้อยหกสิบเนี่ยเออเนี่ย Apart from the seafood zone, this market here also has on-sale quality vegetables and fruits, which have been carefully selected and checked to make sure that they are free of chemical residues. And here are shops of local desserts that are not easily found in general. Each shop has been in operation for decades and has become a place of specific authenticity for this market. What is interesting is several shops in the market shows this star symbol in the front. But what is it exactly? เทศบาลเราก็จัดโครงการแผงติดดาวหมายถึงว่าต้องมีเกณฑ์นะคะเราก็จับเกณฑ์หลักๆมา 8-9 ตัวนะคะผู้ประกอบการมีการตรวจสุขภาพประจำปีนะคะในส่วนเป็นการค้นหาโรคที่อาจจะเกิดจากแม่ค้าที่ค้าขายนะคะนะคะเราก็มีการตรวจสารปนเปื้อนด้วยนะบางแผงเนี่ยเราจะมีการตรวจสารปนเปื้อนด้วยนะคะไม่พบสารปนเปื้อน3ชนิดเนี่ยเราก็จะมอบแผงสินดาให้นะคะ
Most tourists hardly know this market, perhaps because it is not included in general tour guides. But Phuket residents know well that here is the source of delicious food at reasonable prices. And above all, it's under the quality control of the food and safety principles to make these food items safe for all consumers. This is the quality Phuket. We will know Phuket in the area of Phuket, the water, the water, ทุกอย่างมีหมดที่ภูเก็ตอันนี้ก็แสดงถึงความเป็นเมืองวิทยาการด้านอาหารนะครับหรือว่าซิตี้ออฟแกสโตโนมีอย่างสมบูรณ์
Thai jasmine rice. Khao yam is a local dish that has gained wide popularity in southern Thailand. The method is simple, starting with newly cooked jasmine rice sprinkled and mixed well with a small pinch of sugar. Then, spices for the dish, Phuket's specific formula, are added, followed by red onions fried in shrimp paste. A little powdered dried chili is then added for the hot taste. Lace with fish meal, crunched fried peanuts, fried coconut meat. Then, various herbs are put in, starting with finely shredded lemongrass, yard-long beans, specific plants called mui, young tops, finely shredded khmer leaves, and red onions. Tiny dried fish is then put in, followed by finely stripped raw mango meat. And finally, the indispensable item, which is the identity of kalyam, is the torch ginger flour. Finish about five minutes cooking. Thank you. What a beautiful dish. And it took five minutes. And people like me who don't know how to cook, and you make it look so easy. Thank you so much. Can I have a little bit to yeah. taste? production sites can create tourism activities at the same time. And this is the reason that has brought me to Ban Bangrong in Baklok sub-district of Talang District, a tiny village rich in biodiversity and with ability to create interesting activities for agro-tourism. So at the moment, I'm in the Baklok District in Phuket Province, and uh, I'm very happy to be here with Khun Samad, who is a representative of the uh, agro-tourism of the Ban Bangrong. And this place has a lot of history. Uh, we're standing in the restaurant area, which has also become a part of an agro-tourism. Uh, activities, restaurants and foods and things like that. And I'm going to let Kun Samad tell you a little bit about what they're doing here and how you, the viewers, can come to Thailand and enjoy yourself and enjoy agro-tourism. Kun Samad, thank you very much for your time today. Um, can you introduce yourself? And can you introduce this place for us, please? แรกเริ่มเนี่ยที่เนี่ยมันแรกเริ่มเราก็มาเที่ยวในร้านอาหารชุมชนหรือว่าลัดเลาะป่าชายเลนเนี่ยก็เข้ามาเรื่อยๆ All right, it is now time for us to survey the production sites of raw materials for the Ban Bang Rong. Khun Sama told us that this community had organized groups to raise sea fish such as grouper and snapper, including swimming crabs. The raising of these fish takes about six months to be ready for sale to community food shops, as well as to some outside traders who came in here to purchase fish, thus bringing sustainable income for the villagers. From the place where you actually raise the crabs and the fish to the table, I'm going to let these two experts, this is the head chef, Kun Lamai. Lamai. And I will let Kun Lamai, the head chef of this place here, to introduce the, uh, this lady who is going to make a very special Thai dish. Black crab in shrimp paste. The dish black crab in shrimp paste in the menu starts with the frying of garlic in hot oil. Then, shrimp paste made of shrimp caught in the community is added and further fried. Now we add small hot chilies, followed by chicken stock, seasoned with sugar, bean sauce, and some tamarind juice for blended taste. 
When the mixture is ready, the boiled black crab are put in and fried again. Red crabs used for this menu are also raised in the community. So therefore, it's very fresh and the cleanliness is guaranteed. And this is the first dish for us today. Black crabs in shrimp paste. Mm, yummy. Thank you. I'm going to eat this whole thing by myself. <laughs> Just remember, everything that is put into this dish is organic, it's fresh, it's easy to make, and this is one of the reasons why I love Thailand so much. So on to the next dish now. This is called Gang Song, and in English, it's called a sour curry soup. I was told by the cook that the clue to make delicious spicy sour soup is with fresh fish raised in the community and the homemade spices to get a good mixture. So let us start now. First, shrimp paste and salt are put into boiling water in the pot, followed by spices, then tamarind mixed with garcinella juice with sharp sour taste. The shop's specific formula is then poured in. At the boiling of the mixture, sugar is added and fish meat put in to bring the whole thing to a boil. And then we get fish in spicy sour soup rich in herbs. For the ladies, it helps you with um, reducing fats and actually helps you with your skin. And the fish here, they said, don't overcook it because if it's overcooked, it's not going to taste that great. So come here and try this dish, Gang Song, which is the Thai sour curry. And you can always ask for a little bit of spicy if you don't like too much spicy. From Ban Bang Rong Community Kitchen Food Shop, I take you to see the lovely goats here. All goats at the Manirat Goat Farm and Homestay are dairy goats producing milk with high nutritional values. So let us take a look at the detailed information from the farm proprietor together. I did not even know that there's many, many goat farms in Phuket, but talking about food and what goat can produce, I'm here with Go Pon or Kun Pon, who is the owner of this farm. Sariha. Thank you very much for your time. Um, I see that you have many, many goats. You say you have about 50 goats. Uh, tell me a little bit about the reasons why you started the, this farm and what is good about goat milk. So what can it do besides the allergy? What is, why is goat milk so good compared to other milk? พอๆลูกผมกินนมเพชรนะผมตัดสินใจเลี้ยงเพชรอยู่ 2 What other products have you produced? Can you introduce a little bit the other products that you have done with goat milk, please? อ่านอกจากนมเพชรแล้วก็คือต่อยอดจากนมเพชรก็มาทําสบู่ครับก็มีมีโลชั่นครับครับโลชั่นแล้วก็อ่าลิปบาล์มลิปบาล์มลิป
You know, we've been to so many places already in Phuket. We tried so many different types of organic food. We visited many, many places that is teaching us about how to go back to nature and to take care of our health and our well-being. And what better than being here on the ocean in southern Thailand. You know, we have one of the best beaches in the whole world here in Phuket. And today, I'm here with a new friend, Kun Saifon, and she is going to teach us something totally new that I've never heard of before called sand spa. Tell me a little bit about this sand spa. What is it? เป็นเหมือนกับเป็นเป็นเล่ธาตุเล่คล้ายๆว่ามันเป็นเล่เอ่อแสนรังสีอะไรอย่างเงี้ยเพื่อรักษาวิธีการเล่ธาตุก็ส